Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. And I put that one in there. So I got 241,000, that one cost me. And then we're going to go up over this side and we want to put another one in. And that one there, I'm going to swivel around into here. So I either want to put it in there like that. Or I want to put it in sort of over on this side. I think that going in here is actually going to be okay. That's two buildings. That's one building to be removed into there. That's where that one's going to go there. Right. Stage one complete. Of course, you don't have a separate thing now for building the tracks. You've got a, a different one in here. Uh, whereas you used to have a separate thing altogether for building tracks. So I'm going to bring that one down there. And I'll bring that up onto there. That's 600,000. Actually, what I can do is I can simply drop that down there like that. And we can have a look here. Now, you have a look at that. That goes out and through there, which I don't really want it to do. That's going to be too expensive. So we're going to scrap that bit. We will go into here and we will take a look at this so that we've got the contours. We're going to go on the left-hand side to start with on this. I'm going to take that one out of there. And that's going to go... Ooh, wait a minute. I've got an idea. That height right there. Height at mouse cursor, 16 meters. It tells me right there, up in that corner there. So height at mouse cursor, 16 meters. So then if I go up over here to the left-hand side one, height at mouse cursor, 11 meters. So it rises from here over to the next station. I'm going to take the track out from here. I'm going to bring that one out over there. And I'm going to take you to that point like that. And we're going to go from there. And I'm going to bring you... Curve you up through the middle of this area here so it's... Still staying level all the way through there. That's what I'm going to want on there. And then I'm going to go further still. Still staying level. And this time, I can bring that back in around there. That's another 138,000. And I drop that one in. The railroad there. has been completed. Curiosity runs high. Time will tell if passenger transportation really is a venture that's worthwhile. Transport at least 25 people between Surabaya and Simarang. Right, well, I've got other things that I want to do first. Namely, I want to build a double track. And double track does work exactly the same way that it worked in the last one, by the look of it. Which makes it nice and easy. A formidable enterprise like yours calls for a suitably first-rate branch office. After all, you're not just anybody. Uh... Right, mysterious monuments. Let me just finish connecting up this track before I accept that next little bit. There, I've now got two tracks all the way through, which means we can put two trains on that one. Uh, accept. Build a prestigious residence that is unrivaled in the whole island. We've got to build a headquarters. Right, how do we build a headquarters? This is a new one to me. I've got... Terrain tools. Build the headquarters of your company in a location of your choice. Ah, headquarters. Company score 10. Build. Did we have a headquarters previously and I just com I like did it to start with and then completely forgot all about it? Build a prestigious residence that is unrivaled anywhere else in the whole island. Where do I want to build this? Do I want to sit myself up on top of here? I actually like the idea of building it right stuck up on top of an island, uh, on top of a mountain. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. However, I'm also thinking that on the outskirts of a town may be a better option. Hmm. Where would where, where am I gonna want to do this? 
Where do you think? I reckon we should put it here, overlooking... Ah, right. The uh, comma and full stop buttons are what you use to raise and lower. Should you wish to raise and lower anything at all. So I can bring that one in over there and I can rotate that round so it's facing the town a little bit better. And I want to lower it down just a fraction. Maybe a bit more. There. A truly attractive estate, but a veritable plague is spoiling all the fun. Snakes have occupied the building. Rumor has it that a wise old woman knows how you could rid yourself of the snakes in your walls. She's supposed to be in Surabaya. Right, somewhere in Surabaya we've got an old lady that can charm the snakes out of our house. So let's see if we can find her. Somewhere around here. Residential building. There are four people in there. This was built in the year 1870. It's only 1871, because most of the time I've been playing it so far, I've just had it on one-time speed, because we haven't needed to. The old woman says she doesn't know a thing, but you should try your luck with her cousin in Semarang, who has a knack for the art of snake charming. All right, we will try our luck with her cousin, who lives over here in this house here, by the look of it. One of these houses... Phoebe Scott, Oliver O'Neill, Leo Taylor. The snake charmer declared that you've probably angered the mighty snake goddess with your projects. The snake priestess of Mount Merapi is the only one who could remedy the situation. So I've now got to find the snake temple. Right. Oh, that was... Oh, that is wicked cool, that is. Look at this thing. I am loving this. I am absolutely loving this. Look at it. Look at this awesome temple. That is just fantastic. I mean, yeah, that does kind of detract from it a little bit. What just happened? I followed the clue. I followed the clue! The priestess ah. has spoken. The only way she is willing to call off her children is if you make a sacrifice to the great snake goddess. Coffee, the priestess prophesied, will be the sure thing to appease the goddess. <laughs> I think we're being blackmailed. Oh, wait a minute. Temple of the snake goddess. I was looking up over here. Ah, I clicked on the button, I clicked on it, and then we had to go and find the other one. This this wasn't the right temple, so we had to go and find the other temple. So there's more than one temple on this island. That's pretty cool. So we got this one down here. I've got to connect a road, and I've got to bring coffee up there. We'll deal with that one in a minute. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to build a depot in here, and we're going to make a line. So well, I should make the line first. We go from there, we go new line, we want that station there, connected to that station all the way over there. So we buy a transfer to Lower Semarang. Uh, done that bit. And then I want to go to you, and I'll go to buildings, and I want that one right there. Now, what I've actually got is I've got two buildings, uh, two tracks that can cross each other over. So I'm going to want to... Bring that one back round. I'm just going to move it away from the town a little bit. And bring that one over to there. And I'm going to place that one there. And then I'm going to go to tracks like this. And the first track is going to come out. It's going to connect onto that side like that. So one of the trains will go out onto that side. Because I'm going to have two trains. And then I'm going to come out here. Like this. And the other train. We go on to there. Like that. So there's no crossover of the two trains. But they should, in theory, both be able to go out onto that track and run the same course. Transport people. 
It doesn't actually tell me anything about what trains are the most suitable, so we don't need to worry about that. So we just go into here, uh, we buy vehicles, we will go for a Borsig, and then we will go for a passenger car. So I've got good over here at the moment. 36 high in 86 seconds. And I will add one of those. That immediately drops to mediocre. 30k on high. Oh, f flat is 45k. Top speed. Still 45 and 45. That's because the car itself. Oh, no, the train is 45. One, two more on there. I think that's all right. I think we can have two trains. We can have like this. So we've got one there. Buy for 1.26 million and another one as well. So I've got two of these trains, the passenger trains. They're going to be running up and down the line. So that first one right there is going to be called Gooseman X. And the second one there is going to be called Jordan. So we've got those two in there. Then I need to go... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to assign Gooseman X first to line four. And he's going out on that side. So I'm going to put him out on there. And let him go up onto that line there. What's going to happen, once he's come out onto there... I go a little bit quicker. He's going to go up there like that, and then I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to remove that bit there. So it forces the other train to come out over here. Jordan, you're going to go onto line four as well. You're going to go out and you're going to use the other track. There's no way for you to get out onto this first track. And line four vehicles, line four. And we'll just go like that and we will assign a color there. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at it. That is absolutely stunning right there. There is the next one. So that one's going to go up and down that side, and then the other one's going to go up and down the other side, and i got two trains running backwards and forwards between the two things right there. So next up, I need to get coffee beans from Surabaya Export Factory, Surabia. Is it Surabia? Sur Sur Surab Sur Surabaya? Surabia? Surabia, I think. Uh, I need to get from there down over to here. So I've got to get one truck going, or one um, horse and cart, Going from down there up to here on roads. So I want to go to there and I'm going to go to streets. And then what have I got in here? I've got urban and I've got country. Medium country, small country. Let's just go with a small country road. We don't need anything more than that. I don't do that either. I want to do this. So we bring you down here like this. Join you in like that. So I've got the road connecting. Oh, wow. We've got a bridge going across that bit. I didn't even see that. So I've got a little road connecting stuff down there. In order to be able to connect up anything to the Temple of the Snake Goddess, I've got to go to buildings over here. I could actually do this with just a truck unload stop. I could just simply drop that one down there. Uh, doesn't actually matter. That one will just go on there like that. All right. So I've got a truck unload stop there. Then I can go over to here. We can go to Surabaya and I can buy vehicles. We will go with the European horse-drawn carriage. And we'll just take the four one there, slightly smaller one. And I will buy that one. And then... From here, I want to go to line manager, new line, which is going to go from there up to there like that. So I've got the Surabaya Exchange and West Street up there, which is right next to the temple. I'm hoping that's going to work. Hopefully that will be sufficient. So we can go back down here. We've got another vehicle, uh, another, yeah, another vehicle that we need to put a name on. Oh, wait a minute. I got the wrong vehicle. That one only takes sugar. Oh, dear. 
Right, well, that was a little bit of a foolish mistake. So we're going to have to go back here to the... Not the sewer buyer exchange. I'm going to have to go back onto that one. And unfortunately, Connor over here in the sewer buyer row depot is going to need to be sold. So that one... Connor, right there, is going to have to be sold. Sell, select vehicle. Uh, because I... Wait a minute, no, cargo types. It's got all three types. Right, my bad. That was definitely a mistake. So, uh, yeah, we, that one is... That one's Connor. Connor right there. And you just need to be assigned to line five. Just like that. And then we can go to line five here and we can just assign color onto it. Like that. And... Then we can zoom in down here and there's line five. That one's ready and raring to go as well. Let's speed things along a little bit. So he's going to go up there. We've got the trains going over here. And if I can click on the trains. Jordan there. Like that. And... Gooseman X. Now, this is the bit that does bug me, is that I'm not able to get the two windows open. I'm still not... Why can't I get another window open? I want to watch them both so that I can see the numbers that they're carrying. Well, they're... They're carrying a few numbers. I've got 13 people about... Yeah, he had a whole load of passengers, and he's about to jump on and... Um, Gooseman X right there. He's got another 13 passengers on board. So he's doing really well, and then if I come down over here, Connor has got nothing on board at the moment. You're supposed to have coffee. Right, he's now got coffee down there. There's two bits of coffee over there, ready and waiting for him. So if I look at Connor over here, I go to details... Get some deets. Cargo types. So he is able to take them. Configure vehicle over here. Uh, maintenance. Uh-oh. It's rumbling in the island's interior. The mighty volcano Merapi threatens to erupt. A phenomenon like this wasn't reckoned with while planning the route. The natives claim that someone has probably angered one of their gods. Whatever the case... If the precious coffee fruit is supposed to be transported by rail in the future too, then it's imperative that something be done. It seems worthwhile to remove the infrastructure if it's not supposed to be buried under ashes and lava. Send the trains to the depot and remove the stop at the cloth coffee plantation from the route. Ah... Right, so those have got to be removed. So you over here, you need to go back to the depot. And you over here, you also need to go back to the depot. So are you actually going to be able to get to the depot? They didn't used to be able to pathfind their way up around that. We found previously. Stop. Return to depot. Right. Start. Okay. So he is going to the depot and... This one's going for the depot as well. Okay, so we've got both of those. Send the trains to the depot. Remove the stop at the coffee plantation from the route. Uh, oh, just remove it from the root. Right, okay. So I don't need to do anything else. Just got to remove it from the root. Uh, down here. I've got nothing in there. There's nothing telling me at the moment that I've got anything. Uh, you down here, Connor. You've got four of four. So I'm going to let that one come up. And then I'll remove that one from the root in a second. I want to see what's going to happen when this little horse and cart gets all the way up here. He's certainly taking his sweet time to get here, though. Uh, this is on four times speed. It's not like he's um, cruising along particularly slow. Time scale is... What a godsend. The stylish residence is pleasantly snake-free again. 
Ideal. Right, I cope with that. Are they going to keep taking more coffee? We can sell them coffee if they want to buy it. We'll, we'll, we'll keep doing that. Right, so next up, I've got to remove a root from there. So I need to go to here. I need to go to line one like that. Uh, Semaran Coffee Plantation. That's the one that I've got to remove. So I can take that one out of To enable root. coffee production to continue making progress in future, the root ought to be relocated to an area where it can be assumed that the expected eruptions will leave it intact. Remove station and tracks from the damage zone of the volcano and build both outside of the area. So we've just got to delete that lot, move it round, and put it back in again. So we'll confirm destruction. And come through and remove this lot as well. All of that, yeah, that's all of that. Take those bits out. And there, and there. I'm not going to go any further because I want to keep that bit there. What I'll probably end up doing is building a double track. Um, Miss Pelt is still going backwards and forwards. We're, we're not doing anything else on there yet. And I'm going to go over to this side. I'm going to go to buildings and I want a cargo terminus. I've got two with a 120. Just to future proof it a little bit just in case we want to. Probably not going to need to do that as there's, there's probably not going to be any kind of situation I'm going to need that. But uh, we'll, we'll do it anyway. Uh, so that one is joined in there. Next, I need to bring the track all the way out round. So I'm going to go to there. I'm going to take tracks, and I'm going to take the inside edge of that. So you go up to that point there. And then I bring you on round. So you've got to go right around that bit there. So really, I only want to sort of take you out about that far to start with. And they're staying on the same level. So if we can keep that track level all the way around, it's going to be better for us. And that one will just join straight in there. The danger Excellent. has been averted. The transport can be resumed. What's more, the volcano is showing signs of coming down again. Despite that, maybe relocating the route was still a wise move. Yeah, it's not going to hurt just in case it decides to liven up again at some point in the future. So we need to go back here. Uh, establish the route again and transport 30 coffee fruit. So we want uh, line one. We've got Surabia down here. Sur Suraba no, wait. I don't want you. Line one, add station. That's what I need to do. So I've got Surabaya there. Or Surabia. Sur Surabaya, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. And you're done. Like that. So I don't need to do anything else there. Then I can go to this one. And both Deuce MS and Devansh Mahajan can go onto line one. Out through there. Devansh Mahajan will stay there until we've the got The Fertile that Island done. has a lot more to offer than coffee. The widow of a friendly grower, may the poor devil rest in peace, has been planting sugar cane lately. Make the lady happy by providing her with your services. Except the sugar must be transported to town. From there it is shipped and then served when continental Europeans get together for coffee. Right, so we gotta start taking it from here. Deliver sugar from the sugar plantation to Surabaya. Surabia. So Sur Surabaya. Uh, we gotta deliver that over to here via train by the look of it. So I've got a train track over here kind of thinking I want to build a separate track because I'm using that already with both of the passenger trains. They're running backwards and forwards between the two. So if I can get the sugar from here and I can have that being sent back over. Miss Pelt is still going backwards and forwards over there. I could probably delete that without causing me any issues. But I'm not going to do that. I'm simply just going to have a station over here. We'll build a new station. So take that and that's going to be another cargo terminus station. Which is going to come out there like that. Then I'm going to run down this side. And I'm going to have another cargo terminus station over here. That one is going to go... I'm going to bring that one over here like this. Alright, i got just enough room. Oh, I still need to actually connect it. Uh, that's not connecting. That would connect. 
So I've got to have it out that way to be able to connect. I can't sort of put it sideways on. Ooh. Maybe I'll just put it back in here. That'd be better. i just drop that one right in there. How do I get it to just... If I go shift... Ah. And... I can move it around myself if I want to, so I can get it a lot more accurate on the movement. I have just gone and demolished that building, even though I didn't want to. Put that one in there. I didn't mean to demolish that building. I don't know why it demolished. Still, never mind. So next, I will take a track from here, and I'm going to bring that one out. And that track is going to go... Well, I need to bring it all the way up through there, don't I? Don't really want to go building all the way up there like that. So we'll bring this one out to about that point there. And we'll zoom in. The traffic is flowing full steam ahead. The plantation business is developing magnificently. In light of all this success, the incumbent governor is thinking of moving back to his Dutch homeland in good time. Thanks to your outstanding work, you have a good chance of inheriting his post. So we can simply return to the main menu or we can continue playing. Well, we know what we need to do. We just want to put in that bit. So I'm not too concerned about that. So I return to main menu and we will continue on with the next mission instead of just worrying about putting in the sugar plantation. So those bonus tasks, you've actually got to complete those before in the north you of allow Britain, the other. In the do. midst of the Victorian era, the industrial city of Glasgow is bursting at the seams. The factories are working full blast. But the competition is not sleeping. In terms of economic issues, the countries in continental Europe have long since caught up. Something must be done to stop the cradle of the Industrial Revolution from falling behind. Anyone who doesn't toe the line now will fall by the wayside. All right. So no pressure or anything. We've now got to rejuvenate the North. Scotland. The land of enlightenment. The land of progress. The land of science. The land of industry. The Glasgow City Council wants to modernize the transport infrastructure so that the city remains the vibrant industrial metropolis that it is today in the future as well. With your transport company, you're as good as predestined for this sort of contract. The shipyards on the Firth of Clyde have been famous for their sturdy boats for quite some time. New processes for the mass production of high-quality steel are now opening up previously undreamt of possibilities. A member of the City Council recently proposed to you during a pheasant hunt whether you'd like to supply his friends in the shipbuilding industry with this essential material. Coal and iron are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. Off to the blast furnace with them. Did have a coal and iron ore to the steelworks in Glasgow. Well, that sounds like something we could do. I reckon we could get on board with that. For those of you who are just... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.